Anyways, my name is Andrew Nelson. I'm a, a consultant with Red Hat in North America. I've uh, been here at the Zavix conference for ever since the beginning, uh, nine years now. Been dealing with Zavix for about 15 years. Uh, had a couple of projects here and there involved with Zavix. You guys may have seen some of my other presentations in the past on Ansible with Zavix uh, for automated event remediation uh, and so forth. Uh, so, you know, part time also decide to make some sawdust when I can, so forth. But uh, today I'm here to talk about this. So every single person in this room is in technology, which means that every single one of you uses electricity. But that means that you're also probably someone is having to pay for it. So you're probably going to have something similar to this on your own, you know, uh, house anywhere in the world, a meter. This is basically uh, monitoring the power that's you're being used in your facility. This one is, is the one on my house. This one is um, a smart meter, as we call them in the U.S. They basically broadcast my electricity uses. So as I use electricity, it broadcasts that I use a, a tenth of a kilowatt hour and so forth. So using a simple device like this, the software-defined radio that uh, is an open source community project, I was able to monitor my own power usage using Zabbix and something as simple as this and a couple other tools. So let's talk about it. So the stack is essentially this, as it sits on top of one of my racks in, uh, at the house. Uh, it's a Raspberry Pi uh, running the software you know, that's uh, running Fedora. So running Fedora, I think, 29 right now. I need to update this one pretty soon. Um, but uh, we then put the software-defined radio attached to it. It's a UP, uh, USB device, um, very, very straightforward to use. Then we connect into it with uh, software called RTL AMR. AMR is the automated or automatic meter reading. Uh, so this is a project written in Go uh, that basically will pull the uh, broadcasts and look for the IDs of the meters that are coming out and then just spit a list. So from that list, I then figured out which meters were mine, you know, which was my uh, gas meter, which is my power meter, uh, and then went forward. So with a couple of scripts that I then wrote with that, kind of collated that information together uh, and was able to pump it into Zabbix. Uh, one of the things that was pretty cool is I can now look at this and see how the, uh, the power usage is. And you know, looking at this back in March, um, earlier this year, it was starting to get warm in, in, in Virginia. And you can see the moments throughout the day when the air conditioning system in our house turned on. But our average power usage in their house is somewhere around 15, 20 watts, or sorry, 20 amps, my bad. So 15 to 20 amps uh, at constant power draw. So it's been a, a rather fun little project you know, to do with Zabbix and kind of wanted to showcase a uh, alternative way to you know, use Zabbix in your own home labs and have some fun with it. Thank you very much.